Um, okay, so we've got more forces here. Let me send this skeleton up. Your job, little buddy, is going to be to um, build roads. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Gracie, and this is episode 11 of this Let's Play of Age of Wonders 4 as the Philidae Necros, Ruby the Sharp, the Empress of the Dead. We have taken Star Trail in the last couple of episodes and liberated it as a vassal, and now the Iron Emperor is... is uh, how far into the episode are I can't curse yet he's upset with me so he keeps sending these armies but we keep sort of like taking out the little chunks if we can and then I head out to try to take down his outpost and then he follows me and I run back to the city so I'm not strong enough to take on this stack this is actually pretty insane here we've got Sebastian yeah Bastian stone spirit and a magma spirit so these are and then he's level 12 so like this is a pretty sick army very melee heavy um, because really yeah, they only have one real battle mage unit, and this is support, so this is a lot of beef, but I can't take them on. I have here Phantasm Warriors <laughs> and um, two unexperienced Arcanists, uh, but I'm, I'm standing at the city because all of these Spellbreakers would probably rip through this guy uh, if we had the walls to protect us, but he's not going to attack us. Um, can I see what buildings they have in here? I don't think I can. I would love to see... Like, do they have walls? That city has walls. I'm, they might not have walls. To be honest, I can't tell. That's got stone walls. No walls. Yeah, I don't think they have any walls at all, so never mind. They could just attack me. But I've got the front line while their spellbreakers rip through them. They're all, what is this, elite? Elite metal gives them damage boost, so it's 10%. Alright, so we're just waiting here for reinforcements, and reinforcements are not really on their way because I have a quest over here to do. And then also, what was the other thing? There were, um, yeah, armies being sent from this dragon's lair here, and they keep coming to attack me, and I don't have, like... I don't have real forces here yet. I just have like some skeletons and like this random phantasm warrior. I think I'm recruiting a bone golem. I really need range units. I'm not sure what I'm doing there. Uh, it'd be nice if I could summon one. Maybe we'll get the necromancy stuff next so we can get like um, a banshee or something. Banshees are pretty great. Nothing happened. Where's, um, oh, he's still here. Now we, if I attack him, we could pull in, oh, these are crap. These are crap units right here. Is this a little army that they spawn to go after them? Cause this is really bad. Iron Golden Assistant. How are you people getting these? And a scout and a single level five hero with almost no equipment. Oh, I want those robes though. Can't really help you with that, bud. Okay, what's going on down below? Um, oh, and then the other thing we have is this city keeps sending things at me, so I need to go. I think I'm gonna take all of these units and go siege that city and see if I can take it for myself. We got a necromancer coming in. So let's go ahead on up here to this research post. We'll follow up with these golems, this white witch we got. And let's see, we could boost the academy. I have a couple of bonuses to my um, Imperium. Let's get the let's get the Academy, since it's a bunch more knowledge and we're really having a field day with the research speed. You guys just have to wait there. I don't think I can attack. I mean, if I yeah, it'd be a risky battle. We'd outnumber them. I could cast a buttload of spells. I mean, I do have the amplification pile on now. And then I can just cast a bunch of spells for bonus damage. Hey! Increases the damage of your spells by 20%. It said 50% when I researched it. Um, tomes. 
damage of your spells by 50%. It says right there. Okay, so which one is it? How will I know? <laughs> I'm gonna have to test it by... By... Looking at the damage a spell will deal. And then instead summon the amplification pylon. And then trying that same spell out in that same circumstance. I'm gonna test it for you guys. Anything for you guys. We'll figure it out. Create a bone golem. Um, we can we can do that over here. It's gonna be better than the skeleton. Uh, so I think if I can get like a single range unit over here, we'll be okay. I don't have. I can fast fast build the walls, and then they have to siege. Um, so they can get to me, so I need to, I need to boost the walls, and I need to boost, I don't need to boost the golem, because now I have fortification strength, so if they attack me, they, um, I get siege, and in fact, they'll probably go raiding, to be honest, so let's just, let's just build, like, a couple arcanists over here, and then we'll have a little stack of six. Um, they can build another thing, too. We have three farms and a quarry. Pretty much... Oh yeah, I want this here as well. So let's grab this farm. I'm going to try to cut off this outpost from getting anything else. Hey, I've seen this army before. <laughs> it sucks. It sucks and it's up above. Um, we can't actually make it... Well, we probably could, but let's just go to here, and that way the uh, Necromancer will get some experience when these idiots attack me. Oops, not that, just that one. So they... What the hell? Did they split up? If Is this a trap? Yes? Yes, it is a trap. They're all invisible except for that one. Oh, so they did get attacked. It just was very little damage. Necrotic magic. Decaying. Damage over time effect that also prevents health gaining. And that would go on my battle mages and my supports. It would cost me, therefore, 12 mana per turn. We can, we can do that. We go that's pretty good that'll be very useful orders required necrotic magic so we need we need um undead tome of summoning target enemy magic origin unit well that's not bad because he does have a lot of elementals transformation Domain of Death, Fetid Legion, Whiteborn. See, that would make us undead, which unfortunately makes us weaker to fire, and this guy does a lot of fire. So I just, I don't think the Whiteborn transformation is the right thing for me to do here. Minus four fire. Ugh, it's a little, that's a little much. Um, Frostling transformation. Frost resistance. Arctic walk. Summon a snow spirit. Where are the the other um, death things? Where's the shadow stuff? Tome of the Soul. Tome of Necromancy. Tome of the Doom Herald is where I have the Banshee, which I am missing out on. Cruel weaponry would drain morale. No, sorry, it does extra damage, but if they have low morale, that could work with the Banshee. Um... And this one's got that. Let's grab the Doom Herald, actually. I really I really do actually want the Banshees quite a bit, because it seems really fun. The darkness even though they're going to be weak to... Um... Shadow to shadow not only brings disquiet, Let's get the Banshee first. This is not as helpful without some way to actually lower their morale. Palisade Wall. So we're good over here. Let's end turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Auto, that's fine. Collected some souls. I should be spending these souls. 
I could just make a buttload of skeletons. Okay, we're moving on out. We're going to take that city for ourselves. What else do we have going on down here? We could probably grab another necromancer down here and then send it to the front lines. Can't, I just can't do anything about these guys until I get more units. Yeah, they're going to... So we've got only 368 power, and they have 400. This white wolf is quite dangerous. I thought they did spirit damage. Maybe that's just the unique one from the uh, Imperium tree. Guardian spirit. Spirit wolf with guardian spirit. Oh, and this is a, this is a white wolf? Oh, yeah, this is different. Let me, let me look at those. F1. Wildlife. Wolf. Oh, a spirit wolf is a tier three. This is even worse. So five and four natively, seven status effect resistance. Ugh. Enfeebling howl, weakened, and damage. Melee strike immobilizing, and it does frost and physical. Demolisher, low maintenance, pack hunter. Charge resistance. Maybe I need one more unit. Maybe I'll boost this next turn and then we'll go in. Maybe we'll summon a uh, phantasm here as well. Might just queue it up one more time. Just leave it in there. Let's just put these guys on guard. Spells can now be cast on the first turn of combat. That's pretty good. That is really useful. 200 mana and knowledge upon completing conquest of a city. Probably not. Uh, Rhodes cost... Mm. That seems like a really good one. Let's do this first turn of combat one now, and then we'll, we'll save up for this... This Rhodes one seems really good. What's this one? Teleport, teleporter provinces. Starblade has been captured. Captured by me? Oh, that was the one that attacked me down below? I assumed because their name was Starblade, they had something to do with Star Trail. But they don't. That's from Mysticarium? Interesting. Yeah, we're going to try to grab this city. Trade proposal. Open borders, sure. All right, let's get into a fight. Here comes Hambanger. I hope he's putting some pressure on them. I'm waiting on him to do something here. What is this? Oh, got my scout. Perak Paralixin Parfait Festival. You have treated your citizens in Necropolis Prime well. Now the citizens wish to invite the people of Star Trail to celebrate. A local guildmaster titters excitedly. We were thinking of organizing a collective festival, my Keeper of the Dead. It seems the mystical vermin of Star Trail love our Paralyx and Parfait, and they promise to share some of their delicacies in return. We are planning on a musical performance, a grand market, a feast for all. These festivities will be a great opportunity to strengthen our bonds within the city. The guildmaster looks at you. Which approach do you prefer, my Keeper of the Dead? Ruby the Sharp receives food. And that would give us suede, which would be good because they don't like me very much. We gain stability. We gain gold. Let's do this one, the suede. Um, so we'll just make sure the feast is really nice for Star Trail. So we're up to only negative 50 now with them, which is going to help our our allegiance problems. So that's going to last a while. The vassalization negative 350 will go away very shortly. Four turns. This is very slow going down here. I need to build roads. <laughs> what do I want to build down here? We've got quarries. Let's build more mines. I always need some cash. There's also conduits give me more 
yeah, they give me like extra resources. So these are also really valuable. Let's get a, what's this one? That's a mono node occupied. Let's grab this uh, mine over here. That'll also give me a little bit more vision if anything ever comes this way for whatever reason. Town Hall, let's boost that. Five turns for that. Phantasm Warrior. Um, here it is. So let's let's go ahead and boost this up here. Hurry up. And then we're going to go attack here. I think I'll go ahead and just summon another Phantasm Warrior just because. To be in, in what? In my city? There we go. Okay, this will be this will be a fun one. We're just gonna swarm it with shitty units. I don't care about these phantasm warriors to be honest. So they're gonna be the ones that go in and take the brunt of the fighting. It's got an AOE. Uh, one, two. So let's back that one up. One. I'm trying to prevent it from hitting all three of them. Yeah, there we go. So this is probably a large target for my pikemen. Large target. Go around the back. Okay. Let's test out the cause conjure amplification pylon. So cosmic ablation is going to do... 10, 10, and 10, which is 14 total. Now he is in defense mode. So let's conjure this amplification pylon. What's the health of this thing? I know it's not 60 health, one armor, one resistance, and it does, a, it does like attack things. It's not very strong though. It's more of a buff that we're gonna kind of slap on the battlefield and let it sort of sit there being annoying. Look at these tier twos back there. Maybe we put it like here. Go, Star Blades. I wish I could click on this now. Yeah, see, it's not showing a difference, so it must be once it's actually selected, so we'll see. What kind of unit is this? Tower. I wasn't aware this bomb symbol meant that. <laughs> Pretty good, actually. Actually, that was worth a spell, just that much damage, to be honest. Alright, so let's take a look here. So it still shows 10, 10, and 10. So it's 21 now. So that's definitely... That's definitely... It was, what, 17 before? Oh god, I forgot what it was. I think it was 17 before, so this is 50% more. Right, because it's like... Yeah, I think so. Not 20%, or it would only be... Well, it's the... Yeah, I'm not sure. Alright, I'm going to let them come to me. I'm just going to kind of go in different places here like this. can pass through, so I'm going to go to here. He's going to howl. Not surprising, it's pretty strong. Hmm, not good. Okay, does this hurt my own units? No, it doesn't. So let's use that. All right, and then we wanna use, oh, this has charge resistance.
take the retaliation on these ones. Just a skeleton. thing is quite the beast not going down easy um goodness all right let's get in this one's face and sort of stall it there those ones got frozen back there my arcanists and then you're also frozen so hopefully they don't kill you oh my tower has gone rip Ah, good. Okay, they're down to a single model. Nice. Very, very little. Five total damage. Amplification pylon kind of sucks now that it only... It only gets to attack twice because the first turn it's summoned, it doesn't do anything. And unless you have your faction leader who's a wizard king, you can't give yourself an extra spell cast. So, yeah, the amplification pylon feels like it's kind of shit now. I guess the only reason it would be good is if you use that and then something big like that pyroclasm spell I had in my other playthrough the next turn, but it's kind of a fringe case. You can't really use it to boost like little shitty spells like this anymore. It just seems like it's better to just cast it twice. But what do I know? Alright, charge! Alright, now let's get over here. Pin him down. Over here. And then I don't... Do you have AoE? No. Now they have to take these autos here. Opportunity attacks. They can't do anything unless they back away. So they're on fire. Taking a model loss. And they're upset. Rip that skeleton. It was a big hit. Okay, we have successfully defended. We still have... It's almost all melee, but that's fine. He's not even raiding, he's just like waiting for an opportunity, I think. Um, okay. That's not good. Do I need to send these guys to the front? I just don't, I don't have any forces, really. I don't have to summon stuff, I think. I've got one turn until I get the Banshee. Um, let's go down below, and we might just pump out some skeletons, just so we have something. I don't really want these guys to leave. I might have them clear out a couple of these nodes. I'll give them... Uh, they actually don't need any time. We can just... Uh... What is my current... I don't know what my alignment is right now. Thank you for showing me that. Serve me. Lose 143 gold, gain a pyromancer. Yeah. I'm good with that. Okay, and then we'll stay in our territory. We'll clear this out with these, these units here, and then we'll, I don't know, send something. I hope they don't have like a billion units up here. I'm gonna be in trouble. Um, actually, where's the road building one? Right here? Let's grab that. And then we might get a skeleton and like have it just build roads along that path there.
I become your vassal? You're not beating me. Oh, you're back to being rank one in everything. Shit. They're gonna siege? No, they're leaving. Cowards! They know they can't handle this. God, taking this city was such a huge boon to my safety. They're ranking up these units slowly. Let's uh, let's pop the these two rank two, uh, the gold medal ones out and get these two in there so they can start getting passive XP. I think we have it right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, never the fuck mind on that. You can bring back dead units. Okay, yeah, well, I don't... I may not be able to beat this. <laughs> it's actually pretty strong. Um, okay, well, let's send, like... <sighs> These I can summon any... But they're, they're just kind of garbage, though. I'm gonna send these four out, and we'll leave these golems here, and then I'll t I'll keep I'll keep recruiting so I have enough to deal with the enemies that keep spawning from here. Somebody else's roads. Start siege. I don't know what's here. I'm not gonna start it. I'm not gonna add anything to it. Shit. Shit, that's right there. Um, that's really bad. Add siege projects. Oh boy, it's gonna take how many turns? Only two? This isn't gonna help. I might have to I might have to abandon this. Um, because they have their forces are right there, unfortunately. Ooh, summon Banshee! Hell yeah! Damn, that costs a lot to summon. Okay, that's fine, and casting points. Um, okay, so we've got more forces here. Let me send this skeleton up. Your job, little buddy, is gonna be to um, build roads. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> uh, I might send these guys, actually. I might send both, just in case. Summon Banshee is done. Select the new research. Ooh, Corrupt Soul. Exploits enemy low morale. Okay. Okay. We can do that. All right, so let's end this episode here because we are all out of time for this one. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this series so far. If you have, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Check out the link in my description for the Patreon if you want to support the channel to see more awesome Age of Wonders 4 content like this. And I will see you in the next episode. Thanks again for watching.